Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today in this video, we'll see how to draw arcs in AutoCAD software, Salapan software. I'll be using the AutoCAD 2020 version. If you're using some other version, that's okay. There are no major changes in any of the versions. And I'll click on start drawing from here. And now we are on a new drawing area. So to say about the arc command, it is available here in the draw panel. And just below the arc command, you can see this small arrow. If you click on which, you can see the different type of arcs that you can draw in the AutoCAD software. So let us see the first four options and the last four options in this video. I'll explain these three options in the next video. So I'll click on escape now. So now let us draw some arcs. But before we start, just make sure we have the dynamic input option on. So if it is off, just turn it on. Got it. So let us see the first type that is the three point arc. So for that I need three points. So I'll draw three points using the line. So now we have three points here, this end point here, this point here and this end point here. So let us try the three point arc now. I click on it, this point here, this point here and this point here. Got it. So if you want an arc going through three available points, you can try this option. Got it. Now let us try the second one. That is the start center and end. So even for that, I'll draw two lines. So I come to the arc command, select the second one. So it is asking for the specify start point. So I'll Take this as the start point. Now it is asking for the specify center point for the arc. So I'll take this as the center point and now look at it. Now it is asking for the end point. But in case if you want to go in the other side, I mean in the clockwise side, you can press and hold the control key and you can draw it in the clockwise fashion. Got it. So now I'll place it over here. Got it. And now let us try the third one. That is the start center and angle. So I'll draw two lines. So again, I click on the start center angle. So now it is asking for the specify start point for the arc. So this is my start point. Now it is asking for the center point for the arc. I'll select this point and now it is asking not for the end point like in the previous option but it is asking for the angle so I'll enter 90 degree and press the enter key got it see this one here and this one here they are both similar instead of the end point you choose for this you enter the angle for this type of arc got it so basically what I want to tell you is all the arcs are similar, but the way you input values are a little different. Got it. So now let us try the third one here. I mean the fourth one, start, center and length. But before that, let me draw two lines. I come to the fourth option here, start, center and length. So I click on it. So this is my start point. This is center point and the length up to here. This is the code length. You can even enter the code length of the arc so that you'll get an arc. Got it. They were very similar, right? So now let us try the these options here. So I'll go with the center start and end. I press escape key. I'll draw two lines. Let us try these options center start and end. So it is very similar to the previous option we tried, but instead of the start point, you select the center point as the first point. So you start from here because it is asking for the specify center point for the arc. So I click here as the center point. Now it is asking for the start point. So I click here as the start point and start drawing the arc. So maybe I want the end point to be here. So got it. So in the same way, let us try this option here, center start and angle. 
So for that also I draw two lines. Center start angle. So even in this type, instead of the start point, you will start with the center point. So it is here. So specify the center point for the arc. It is asking for, so I'll click here. Now it is asking for the start point. So I'll click here and I'll enter the angle as 90. But also note, if you want to go in the other direction, you can press and hold the control key. So it, you can draw in this direction. Got it. So now let me type in 90 degree as my angle. Got it. So now let us try the center start length. So I have two lines. Now let us try the center start length. So I click on it. So this is the center point I choose. This is the end point I choose. Now it is asking for the chord length. So I can enter some value and press the enter key. Got it. And one more we have that is this one here. This is the continue. So just imagine you have some arc in the screen. And if you want to continue the same arc, you can come to the continue option here and you will see one more arc starting from the end point of the arc. Got it. So these are the different type of arcs which are very similar to each other. You can try one of these options according to the situation. So if you have any doubts, please comment below. Thank you.